Okay, naming. More examples. Uh, C, D, N, O, 2, 2. This is ionic, I know, because there's a metal there. It has to be ionic. Uh, one of our transition metals, it's cadmium. This cadmium has to have a plus 2 charge, because I know that this nitrite has a minus 1. So, uh, cadmium 2, so this is as its normal name, as it goes, and then the, when it's a polyatomic at the end, its name is as is. There's no change. Something to note, uh, you may have seen on the online quiz, occasionally people for cadmium is one of those, they don't always put the two. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But we'll always put the numbers there. Okay. We won't differentiate. Okay, let's try another one. Uh, zinc, OH2. This is ionic, again, got transition metal. Uh, what's the name of OH? Hydroxide. Hydroxide. So we'll go, yeah, again, online, zinc is one of those that you don't necessarily need to put the two on, but we're always going to. And then it's base hydroxide. So notice, uh, I think you were asking before, like getting confused with this, if it's a polyatomic in the back, their names are both as is. There's no changes at all. Okay. So cadmium, cadmium, zinc, zinc. And this is hydroxide, hydroxide. Uh, nitrite, nitrite. Okay. So, those are not going to change at all. Let's try another one. F E parentheses H two P O four two. Think I got that right? Okay. <laughs> Let's try that. That was a long one. Uh, again. It's ionic, it has the metal. Uh, this actually will have two possible names. You could name it in Latin or English because of the iron. So we'll do English first. Again, these names will go as is because there's a polyatomic in the back. Iron, what's the charge on iron? Two. Two, uh, because this is gonna have a minus one charge. So iron two, this is a dihydrogen. Phosphate. So iron 2 dihydrogen phosphate or an alternate first name. Ferris. Ferris, that's right. The lower one because iron can be two or three. Good. Would you like some more? It's up to you all. More ionics? Sure. And then after this we'll do some acids. Uh, <coughs> Try this one. V3 and 5. Another ionic. V is vandium. Uh, so we'll go vandium. What's the normal charge on nitrogen? Minus 3. So vandium must be plus 5. They just switched their charges for the numbers. Vandium 5, a big V. And then here, when it's not a polyatomic, you have to put the IDE ND. So if it's an anion, just an element all by itself, monoatomic anion, you've got to put I. So this is nitrine. The IDE ND. Okay, let's try another one. MGS. This is an ionic, it doesn't have a transition metal, which is fine. It's just the magnesium. Again, for ionics, the first name is always as is. Now, in this case, the second name uh, for the sulfur, since it's a monoatomic, you have to put sulfide. I, D, E, N, D, because it's monoatomic anion. No parentheses for magnesium because it's in the second column. So anything in the first two columns don't need parentheses for metals. 
Okay, let's try another one. Uh, okay, PT CR two O seven two. So, what's the charge on platinum here? Maybe easier. What's this? What's its name first, the CR207? Dichromate. Dichromate, so its charge is? Two. Minus 2, so this has to be plus 4. Okay, so we have platinum 4. Platinum 4, the last name would just be as is dichromate, no change. 